E lá vamos nós para o episódio 4 até o presente momento, cada episódio que eu jogo é melhor ainda que o anterior. Essa segunda temporada da Telltale está incrível. Vamos lá. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The admin, a villain who can become anyone with the wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you hide who you really are? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Have everyone? Everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nurm. <sighs> Can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. Stop it! You're hurting her feelings. She can't understand a word I'm saying. Nurm wanted to stay, Jack. You have to respect that. Well, you should have stopped him. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It used to be beautiful. This place doesn't look very friendly or welcoming. Used to be. But now? Guess we're gonna find out together. I knew what Romeo planned to do, but still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... Slow. Oh boy. He needs to be stopped. That's why we're here. He hurt you and he'll hurt more people. I wonder if he had a heart at all. Or he was just a monster pretending to play along. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. It would be great if I could go one day just one day without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes. <gasps> Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened, it was just hypnotic! So big! And glowy! Go, go! Going! Thank you, Luna. 
dismantling the tower! My town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side. And we'll have some cover from that thing. What? Do, do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. Ele é tipo um bounty hunter, aquele guerreiro que o Edmi pôs atrás do grupo é tipo um caçador de recompensa. Not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State-of-the-art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's home. What? What happened to it? Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you fucking carpet! <laughs> Yourself! You, uh... Okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <laughs> Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps. No sense of humor, terrible conversationalist. I don't think the problem is with Luna, Jack. What? Don't you think this might be because you miss Nurm? I... <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. Sorry, Luna. <laughs> We'll get Nurm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I, uh... I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <laughs> Look! At... This! My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed, really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <gasps> wow. Maybe we should help her. Be my guest. I'm staying as far away from her throwing arm as possible. Ditto! I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. We'll avenge your... your... your bed. You really believe that, don't you?
Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? The portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. All this obsessing about the past isn't helping anyone, Zara. It's... it's time to move on. Not yet. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. Well, if you don't fix it, then we're stuck down here. Can't get up to the prison. You really want to live here? In the dark? Forever? You make it sound so appealing. We don't have any other options here. I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? The admin hurt the people I care about. Nobody gets away with that. Nobody. So I'm finding Fred's weapon and taking him down. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh great, just what this place needed. Run on ahead! Never say no to a little gunpowder. Close one. Fred, keep! Here we come! Uh, Jesse? Oh, no. Who made eye contact with the Enderman? Uh, sorry. Go! It's okay. We're still okay, so long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! <laughs> Jack! I'm okay! Go! Oh, need to stop saying that! You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. <sighs> you don't know what an admin smells like. Sure do. Uh, kinda sulfury. Don't think that's a word. Yeah, we're kinda stuck here. Can you help us out? <sighs> Maybe. Depends, really. Yeah, depends. We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're here to take down the admin. <laughs> You're kidding. You can't even make it off this gravel cliff by yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe 
maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. <laughs> the first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Ugh, my arms are tired. Help us and we may surprise you? When's the last time you met someone new down here? Not a fan of surprises, especially since the last one. Things do get pretty boring down here, though. Here's the deal, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. A warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. <laughs> splat. Whoosh. Here! And one more makes two. Fine, but pull me up first. One nasty fall. Thank you. Those are fine blades. Oh, now I'm being rude. The name's Porkchop. And this here's my crew. The toughest scavengers you'll ever have the pleasure of meeting. Hiya. Sup. Best be careful as you get on your way. You're looking a little squishy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, watch out. <laughs> Never know when a cliff will just... Jump out at ya! <laughs> Thanks for your help. Thanks for this beauty! Oh, and uh, make sure to keep your pockets stocked for next time, alright? <laughs> 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 oh. One last piece of advice? Keep your eyes peeled. You're not alone down here. Yeah, luck, squeakies! Great, let's go. Jesse! Jack, are you okay? I've been better. What are you doing? Where's your sword? Um... Ah, come on. Oh, stupid scavengers, stupid cliffs. This never would have happened if... Okay, that's it. What happened up there? Oh, we got shaken down by a couple of scavengers, and they took our swords. Well, at least you're okay, right? <sighs> I guess. Just haven't felt this pathetic since... Well, it's been a long time. Now we've got nothing to protect us against a normal Enderman, let alone a giant one. Well, I mean, it's not the first time we've been seemingly defenseless. Jack, are you or are you not the... uh... raging storm of... Chun? Is it June? Junji Chunji Forest. Right. We don't need a sword. You are a weapon. Yeah, those scavs would have been terrified if they knew, right? <laughs> Horrified. Thanks, Jesse. Guess this is how they keep the mobs out.